Hello everyone, my name is Sayyid Mohsen Hosseini and I'm a PhD student at the University of Western Ontario. Today I want to talk about Pythia, protein interaction site prediction using multiple sequence alignment and attention. My co-author is Professor Lucien Ilie of the University of Western Ontario. Pythia is a protein-to-protein -protein binding site prediction model that solely uses primary structure. It means that Pythia only uses the sequence of proteins to predict the amino acids that facilitates the interaction between the proteins. As an input, Pythia employs the FASTA files which contain only the name and the sequence of the proteins like what we can see here. And as its output, Pythia predict a number between 0 and 1. 0 means that this specific amino acid is not a binding site, and 1 indicates that this specific amino acid is a binding site. The most well-known datasets that have been used in the field so far are old and there have been a lot of changes in their sequence or in their binding regions. Therefore, we felt this obligation to update them with the most recent available version of the sequence and the binding regions. Aside from that, we introduced a new dataset called DSET 500. We believe this dataset to be a better dataset due to the fact that the proteins in this dataset is less similar to one another, which makes it more suitable for testing the performance of different algorithms. We still keep this set 448 without change because it's dated in 2019 and there have been a, a lot of changes in this specific dataset. The first thing that needs to be done in our model is to profile the amino acid. So in order to do so, we used MSA transformers that have been introduced by a research group from Facebook in 2021. These specific transformers combined multiple sequence alignment and a specific version of attention called axial attention. Axial attention is introduced by researchers from University of Berkeley and a group in Google Brain. This specific attention is suitable for datasets with 2D data structure, like multiple sequence alignment. It makes it possible to not only focus on the rows, but also on the columns. So it would be beneficial to know the changes in the protein sequences and the evaluations that happen. MSC Transformer is able to create embedding for each amino acid in the sequence. And as its side feature, it is able to create a contact map for each protein in an unsupervised approach. This map gives us this understanding of the 3D structure of the proteins. For each target, we use a sliding window with the information from the sequence, uh, which we call them local neighbors. We also use the contact map to find neighbors that are close to the target based on the 3D structure and we call them global neighbors. And we add these global neighbors to these already established windows. So finally, we have created this 2D matrix for each target and use it as an input to the final architecture. We studied different architecture like multiple dense layer, RNN, CNN, and finally we come up with this model that uses the self-attention which performs the best in the right side of the picture. We compared our method 
with three state-of-the-art models, namely Vilpred, Scriber, and Delphi. We were able to outperform each and every one of these models on multiple metrics, on all the tested datasets. And we were able to improve the performance of our model with respect to area under precision recall by up to 35%. The source code of Pythia and the datasets are available in our GitHub page. We also create a web server that can be used by anyone, specifically those who do not have the required programming background. We invite all of you to use our web server and give us your feedback. Thank you.